They've been telling us for a year that interest rates are going to drop. Well, let's play this scenario out because it's likely going to happen this September. The Fed chair is going to lower interest rates and it's going to have a major impact on the housing market. Experts are telling this. I was just talking to one of our lenders. He works for a huge mortgage company. I mean, talking billions and billions of dollars in loans and they have experts and they're telling us, get ready, rates are going to drop this September. So what's going to happen to the housing market if rates drop right before the election? Well, what I'm seeing locally is inventory is on the rise. It's up 20, 30, 40% depending on the area. So inventory is going to continue to rise. Buyers are going to kind of be on the fence. And if rates go down, buyers will get a boost of energy and relief because there's a lot of buyers right now that have been waiting for this moment to happen. So I think more than anything, it's not about the money. It's not about the quarter interest rate drop or half interest rate. It's about the sentiment. It's about the feeling. It's about finally it's time for us to get it back into the marketplace because we've been waiting for this. Our lender says something. He has 300 buyers, just him, that are pre-approved or ready to go, interested in buying a home and are waiting for this moment to happen. So extrapolate that across the entire marketplace. We potentially have thousands of new buyers hitting the marketplace. So I don't know how you take advantage of that. It really depends on who you are. If I'm a buyer, okay, I should wait, right? Because I want a better interest rate. But if I wait, there's going to be a tidal wave of other buyers. And so it's going to be are we getting ourselves back into a 2020 situation where there's like a frenzy multiple offer situation? I don't know. You might get a quarter interest rate drop, but you might have to pay twenty, thirty thousand dollars $30,000 more for your house. On the opposite side, do you own a home, right? Do you wait for these interest rates to drop right before the election, right? Because if interest rates drop and the, the all these buyers hit the marketplace, you might get twenty, thirty, fifty thousand dollars $50,000 more for your house. So it might, might make sense to to wait or put your home on the market, but list it at a little bit higher so that, you know, maybe you play the, you're not in a hurry. You can kind of play that scenario out. And then by come September, instead of doing a price reduction, you sell your house. I was just talking to a seller last night and they were, had their home on the market with somebody else and they were really discouraged and they took their home off the market because they made three price reductions, over $150,000 in price reductions. And I was talking to her and I'm like, oh my goodness, you shouldn't have done that. Because if rates drop come September, right, you just dropped your price and it's going to be worth what you, you dropped it from. So how about we work together and relist your house at the right price given the future of this real estate marketplace. And so we're going to put our home on the market and I'm confident we're going to sell it. So I mean, we got a couple things going on. Now, should you sell? I don't know. Should you buy? I don't know. It depends on your given situation and where you're going, where you're moving to, right? Are you going to be downsizing, upsizing, moving out of town or moving, staying in town? So give us a call at 255-8070, 509-255-8070. And let's find out what your home would sell for in today's market and compare it to what it likely will sell for in tomorrow's market with a lower interest rate. If you're a buyer, let's play out the scenario. Is it better to buy now at a higher interest rate or wait and get a lower interest rate but potentially pay more money? We can run the numbers and tell you what the cost benefit analysis for your situation. 855-8070.